PlayStation VR 2 is officially hitting the shelves on Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023, as well as the PS VR 2 Sense Controller Charging Station, which of course is sold separately. You'll be able to add this to your PS5 for $550 US dollars. So yes, the PS VR 2 is more expensive than if you paid retail for a PS5. Is it worth it? Well, let's check out some of the details in 11 new games that were announced today. Inside the base bundle box, you'll get the headset, the sense controllers, and stereo headphones, which hey, that's a nice little ad for that $550 price tag. Then separately, if you want that sense controller charging station, it'll run you another $50. Sony also put together a bundle that comes with its premier VR2 launch title, Horizon Call of the Mountain, which will retail for $600. If you are interested and live in either the US, UK, France, Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg, you can pre-order your PSVR2 on November 15th over at direct.playstation.com. But starting today, you can register now for an exclusive invite to pre-order the PSVR2 that will come to your email inbox using your PlayStation Network ID. I'm assuming this can help you get ahead of the queue in the future, so nonetheless, I've left the pre-order or pre-registration link in the description below. Just a heads up, you will only be able to pre-order one PSVR2 per PlayStation ID number. Along with the release announcement, PlayStation also shared 11 new games that will be coming to the PSVR2 in the future after its launch. You'll find previously released titles which you may have seen on the Quest and Steam stores like Cosmonus High, Jurassic World Aftermath, Pistol Whip, an enhanced version of Cities VR, Zenith, After the Fall, and Tentacular. But of course, what's more exciting are the new VR titles like the Dark Pictures Switchback VR, which is a horror roller coaster shooter that uniquely uses all of PSVR 2's bells and whistles, like headset feedback, adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and eye tracking to make the game a more immersive experience. Heck, some enemies only move when you blink, which sounds like a fun little gameplay mechanic to check out. Up next, we have the first-person modern military shooter Crossfire Sierra Squad. You'll work your way through over 60 campaign missions with smart AI enemies that will be a challenge to clear out using over 39 types of weapons, and if you want, you can bring in three friends for co-op play. Thankfully, there will be multiple modes to make the game playable for all kinds of people with an arcade, realism, and hardcore mode. One of my favorite franchises is now getting a VR release in the form of Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue. If you've played a Hello Neighbor game before, you guessed it, you get to sneak through Mr. Peterson's creep show of a house in first person VR, avoiding him and other foes to help free your friend who is held captive in the basement. Fun fact, this game will also be available on the OG PSVR. And lastly announced, we have The Light Brigade, which is a fantastical roguelike gunplay mystery game which leans into realistic physics-based gunplay and exploration. Light Brigade will be a cross-buy title for the original PSVR as well. So for $550, are you pre-ordering a PSVR 2? How do you feel about the price? Let me know in the comments, and again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next quickie.